Hey guys, so welcome to another video. It's Tristan. I post videos about pageantry, entertainment, and myself. If you're interested in that, please like this video, subscribe for more videos, and follow on Instagram so that that way you help me to reach more people and you don't miss out on any future updates. Miss Universe 2023 is going to be in December, and I want to show you guys some ladies across different countries that I would really love it if these ladies compete in this edition of Miss Universe. I'm going to start with my own country Cameroon and I have Fans Nuela. So guys, Fans Nuela is 23 years old and owns a modeling agency and is a self-accomplished woman. In 2021, she was the first one up of Miss Northwest Cameroon and in 2022, she was the first one up of Miss Cameroon. So guys, Northwest is also a province in Cameroon and last year she also competed in Miss Earth but unfortunately she unplaced. So guys, I don't know if she can compete again because I think the competition starts at the province level. But I'm just trying to say that I really love it if I see Prince Nuela on Miss Universe stage for Cameroon. Next up guys is South Africa and it's kind of like a case study because I have two ladies here. That's Ayanda Sabete and Lebugang Malangu. So guys, Ayanda was the first one up at Miss South Africa 2022 and if things were done normally, she would go either to the upcoming Miss Supernational or Miss World. But unfortunately in that edition, they announced that the winner is going to go to all TV contests. That means the winning title holder and Davin Okevi is going to represent South Africa in Miss Universe, Miss World and Miss Supernational. I'm not yet done with Ayanda, but let's talk about Lebugam. In 2020, Lebugam was top 5 at Miss South Africa, and in that edition, all the top 3 went to international pageants. Shurufato went to Miss World, Tato went to Miss Supernational, and Natasha went to Miss Universe. But guys, in 2022, she competed and she went even further to the top 3, but unfortunately, in that edition, they said the winners are not going to go to all pageants, but only one winner is going to go. I think it's kind of sad, honestly, because it would have been really good if Son, Davi, Ayanda, and Lebugam represented. South Africa at other pageants this year. Personally, I really want them to go to other pageants. I want Lebugam to go to Miss World and Ayanda to go to Miss Supernational, but I don't just know seriously. But I'm just trying to say that if I see these ladies compete in any pageants or compete at Miss Universe especially, I'll enjoy them so much. Although it's likely not to happen. Next up guys, I have Thailand and I have two ladies for this but I'll start with Ai Kanyala. So guys, I competed in Miss Universe Thailand last year and during the preliminaries, that was the first time that I saw all these ladies and I think I stood out to me at preliminaries and at finals. I had just been loving her look so much, her work, her eyes, she's so fierce, she knows her body movement, her expressions, her facials and she's also so intelligent. So I feel like this lady has so much potential that if she comes back and goes to Miss Universe, she's going to do so so well, especially because she's unique, she's beautiful and she has those eyes of hers that I love so much. Next up guys, after Tarina Bote. So the first time I watched Miss Universe Thailand was in 2021 and Tarina was so beautiful, she was so fierce, so gorgeous, so strong, confident. I think she has everything that a Miss Universe needs to have. But her rival was Anjali Scott Kemis who eventually won. Now Tarina is also South African and I saw her at Tamami Green's wedding. I'll show you here but she was so gorgeous. I think if she competes in Miss South Africa it will be so nice but the thing is that Miss South Africa selects only 10 girls to go on stage while Miss Universe Thailand selects way more than that then they make the first top 15 at the finals night. According to me I think if Tarina competes again and goes to Miss Universe whether it's for Thailand, South Africa or any other country I think that should be a threat to all the ladies and a force to be reckoned with because she has everything that a Miss Universe needs to have. So guys, as we all know, there's a new franchise called Miss Universe Indonesia that is not under Putri Indonesia organization. And guys, I cannot believe that when this was happening, Putri Indonesia organization was not informed about this. They just went on social media and they saw this new Miss Universe Indonesia thing which actually turned out to be true. Now, I know that in life, if you have a job or something of that sort, you have to favor your friends and people you know from way back. But I think it's so sad that she just went ahead and gave the franchise to her friend without even informing Put the Indonesia organization. And also, guys, on that email that was sent, there was a deadline for the bidding and all that. And Put the Indonesia organization also placed a bid for the franchise to continue keeping the franchise. But unfortunately, from what I saw, it was like the pageant was given to her friend even before that deadline. So I just feel like she was kind of favoring her friend at the detriment of the mother organization, and it's so sad. So guys, the person that I love to see come to compete for Indonesia is Beldi Angela. So guys, Beldi Angela competed in Puteri Indonesia last year and was a heavy favorite of mine. I even spoke about her in my headshot episode and she is so beautiful, so nice, so charismatic, but unfortunately she unplaced. 
I don't know if you can compete at the national pigeons twice because at Putevi Indonesia it starts at the province level but we have a new Miss Universe Indonesia so things may be different I just think that if this lady competes she'll be so gorgeous and she has potential for Indonesia Next up I have Nigeria that's Dami Lola Bolarin so I'm sure that all of you guys from Africa know her all the pigeon fans in Africa know her so guys going to Miss Grant she was a huge favorite especially for Africa because she is sexy she has the body she's beautiful and all that like there was this African sash factor all around her in general, at Miss Grant, she was a front runner. At the contest, I really enjoyed her so much. Her dressing, her costume, the hair, everything that she had, I loved it so, so much. And she finished in the top 20. I don't really have much to say, but I think if she goes to Miss Universe for Nigeria, it's very possible for her to give Nigeria another placement since 2019. Next up, I have Ghana, that's Priscilla Bosman. So Priscilla also competed at Miss Grant International last year. And I don't really have that much to say about her, but I loved her work, especially at the swimsuit competition. I think she's so nice. So I want to see her represent Ghana at Miss Universe. Next up are Philippines and for the Philippines I have a whole list you can go check it up here but from that list I think the person that I really want to go for the Philippines to Miss Universe is Angelica Lopez but unfortunately she has gone to be being Filipinas so from that list I think Jasmine Dimakulagan I have no idea if she's going to compete but I love Jasmine so much she's so beautiful I don't really know what to say about Jasmine honestly but I have no idea why she unplaced at Benefiting Filipinas last year but the year before that she placed but I just feel that if she gives a comeback it may just be her time so guys Someone commented on that video, Kim Lane. So guys, Kim Lane was the first one up at Miss USA 2020 and she's Filipina American. Now, I love her so much. I loved her gown. I loved her voice. I loved her question and answer session. I think this lady was so gorgeous. But right now, I don't know if she's of her age because 2020 was like so long ago. But if she comes to Miss Universe Philippines, I would really like that so much. But right now, the current applications for Miss Universe Philippines, some veterans that I already know, we have Michelle B, Pauline Amelik, and Samantha Paniolo. And personally, I want Michelle D to win the title of Miss Universe Philippines. I just feel that Michelle D can bring Philippines back up at Miss Universe. For Pauline and Samantha, I think they can then go to the other two pigeons. But let's just see how the event turns out to look like. Next up, guys, I have USA, and you can't compete in Miss USA more than once. But if it were to happen, I think I'll choose Kaylin Vogel. Kaylin Vogel was the first one up at Miss Teen USA 2019, and she was also the first one up at Miss USA 2021. I would have loved it if she was to compete at international stage for the USA but right now she's married and I think that is so sad seriously but I want to wish all the best to her marriage and her family moving forward but at Miss Universe you can still compete if you're married but she said she will not compete again so I think it's just sad seriously but I want to wish Kaylin all the best moving forward in her family and her personal life I think this lady is so gorgeous so guys please comment below the ladies you want to see at Miss Universe please like this video subscribe for more videos follow on Instagram thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video Oh, 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 oh,